The Gate River Run is getting closer and closer. We're only about two weeks out right now, and we know you have been faithful mm -hmm, with all your workouts, which is another uh, really big part of this. But you also have to think about your nutrition. That includes what you're eating every day and what you plan to eat on the day of the race. So joining us now is Ryder Leary with the Yates Family YMCA and Margaret Tocknell, who is running the Gate River Run for the first time. We're so yeah, excited yeah. for you, and thank you as always for Absolutely. being here. Margaret, how are you feeling getting ready for the Gate? I'm feeling very good about it. Yeah. Uh, it's been great to have that goal, and uh, that goal has made me want to eat right and that type of thing, because yeah, you can't go out and do nine, nine miles, you know, kind of on sugar and everything else. You've yeah. got to really look at what you're eating and every day, actually. So how have you approached that? Do you have certain foods that are your go-to foods? I do. I try to get some good protein and carbs in right away in the morning. Usually mm -hmm. I have an egg and um, some green. It might be a green that was left over from the night before. Mm -hmm. I might, uh, I, I love broccoli. Okay, so this is your thing. favorite. These are some of your favorites. Yeah, broccoli hits just about every meal for me, yeah. actually. And uh, it's, it's, then I have some, in between I'll have some bars. And if I've done a long run, I'll, I'll, I'll get to the banana because you need that potassium. So. Mm -hmm. so, Ryder, what do you think of, like, her nutrition strategy? Is it kind of what we should be Absolutely. doing? Absolutely. She's off to a great start with that, especially in, in kind of a general rule of thumb, too. She talked about having some protein, some carbs. A general rule of thumb is beforehand having some complex carbohydrates, um, multigrain rice or some pasta, and then afterwards having a protein to kind of rebuild some of the muscles that you broke down. Before and after the actual race? Before or, and after every training session. Oh, every training session. And then okay. before a race, making sure that you really do make sure you, you pack your body full of some carbs. Why is that kind of important, that balance of those complex carbs and the protein? So your carbohydrates are your, your energy storage, basically. That's what's kind of like you're refilling, refilling your battery for you. Um, and then your protein is actually what rebuilds the muscle for you. And I know we talked a little bit about hydration, but making sure that you stay really hydrated because that actually helps some of, the, the, uh, of this process as well. Mm -hmm. it does. So at two weeks out, what things should people be thinking about in addition to their nutritional goals? Well, a big thing in this, and you, you might not think about it, but making sure that you don't really change your diet too much. Okay. You don't want to go way too extreme because then that kind of will upset your tummy. Um, and then especially right before you run, it, whether it be a race or a training session, you're not eating right before it either. Mm -hmm. Making sure it's pretty simple. A lot of things, a lot of, a good rule of thumb is maybe about two hours beforehand. Okay. Um, and basic stuff. Uh, peanut butter is a big, a big hit of mine. I mean, when I was in training in college, making sure you always had a loaf of bread and some peanut butter to kind of keep yeah. you full. Yeah. 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 I know I'm looking at some of these bars and there are so many bars, I feel like, when you go in the store. How, I know we try to pick out ones that look good, but are there certain <laughs> things with chocolate and stuff? But what should you look for when you're trying to get those energy bars? Well, some of it is kind of what makes you feel good, too, <laughs> to be completely honest. But make sure you stay away from the really high sugar content um, is a big thing. And make sure it has some fiber and some protein in it as well. Um, a lot of them, they jam them full of a lot of nuts now, which is really good for you. So you get yeah. some of the good fats in there as well. Yeah. So what is your uh, last two weeks of your running schedule looking like, Margaret? Well, I hope to be up to about seven and a half miles mm -hmm. by a week from now. Mm -hmm. And then that week of the race, I'll settle down into a three or four mile mm -hmm. um, uh, run every couple of days. And I'll continue to work out. One uh, important thing is I actually work out at the Y mm -hmm. uh, to do some cross training. And I ride a bike too. So. Yeah. I'm just trying to, my, my big goal is not to be injured. <laughs> Next. We talked about that, yes. Yeah. And so is that kind of where you should be at this two-week uh, two mark, just kind of with those balanced yes, runs? Absolutely. And again, she, she had a great point, is making sure that you're doing some other stuff as well, that you're recovering well, mm -hmm. so you don't get hurt. Yeah. Well, we're so excited for you. Thank and thank you, you for thank giving you. us some tips as far as your nutrition plan. It's going to help out a lot of people before and after the race and everything else. So thank you so much for being here. The YMCA you. offers free group runs, Yates Family YMCA. Their runs are Mondays and Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. They are Saturdays at 8 a.m. And the Brooks Family YMCA, they run on Tuesday and Wednesdays at 5.45 p.m. and then Thursdays at 6.15 in the morning. Of course, we will have live coverage on race day. You can see people crossing the finish line. We'll have interviews with the winners, all that fun stuff. Really just a great time out there.